Invisible Voices is a collection of monologues that actually looks at the experiences of female users of inpatient mental health care, which is a big mouthful and also a very big experience for a lot of people. And what we wanted to do was to go and interview people, find out what their experiences were, put them into monologues with a view to making positive change. My big thing is fear. When I was unwell, there was a woman's corridor and a man's corridor, the bedrooms and a shared kitchen area. The women's corridor was staffed by men. Are they not male? Are they androgynous? The thing is that 50% of women who have mental health issues have been sexually abused at some point. So having men around who are unwell themselves seems to me to be a great big no-no. A lot of the men may express their distress in an angry way. Well, this distresses me. When I'm unwell, I find it difficult to read people. I find it difficult to make eye contact. I find it difficult to pick up signs in a normal way. One of my experiences was feeling very frightened, being on close ops uh, uh, in a small kitchen area. Well, I'm five foot four. Uh, and the door swings to on this small space and a staff member who was with me was six foot two. Me and this big man together in this small, confined space. Well, I found that very scary. Uh, and my big thing is fear. Men take stuff out on their partners. Women take it out of themselves. And with women there are parental issues. I think it would be good to have more residential places where kids could be with their mothers. Oh, do I want to go out the house? Oh, do you want to stay in the house? Oh, clean's too much. I don't clean enough. As over-possessive of her kids. Her neglects her kids. As over-dependent on men. As too independent of men. Her love's too much. I don't love enough. Oh, where's too much makeup? I doesn't wear any makeup. I was too interested in sex. I was frigid. I laughs too much. I never cracks a face. I talks too much. I never talks. I was lazy. I was bad. I was mad. I was a nutter. I think there are dual standards. I've worked on mixed wards where you have an old lady masturbating on a bed and the nurse draws a curtain round her and holds her hand. If the man next door is doing the same thing, he's called a dirty old man. Mixed sexes on acute wards is wrong, really. There are double standards in hospitals. Men are wandering around in boxer shorts and that's okay. Women walking around in low-cut tops are told to go and put some clothes on. It's all about men not being able to control their urges and it being women's responsibility. Just like it is outside. One rule for one gender, another for another. Exactly as it is outside. It needs to be different, not more of the same. There was one woman who felt that she was responsible for world disasters, like 9-11 and the tsunami. And she would strip naked and beat herself up, eat her own feces. And this was all happening behind a curtain in a mixed ward. And I really was concerned about her dignity. We've seen the state of that bathroom. Smeared with blood from top to bottom. With blood. Again. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I've told her to clean it up. No, she can't be doing things like that out there. Well, she works for Boots, doesn't she? It won't stand for that. They'll send her right back, yeah. What she wants to do is take responsibility for herself. What I want is for someone to see that I'm distressed. Sit with me. Talk it through. Doctor, doctor, I keep thinking I'm a pair of curtains. Well, pull yourself together. Woman goes to a psychiatrist <laughs> with a banana in one ear, a carrot in the other, a breadstick up each nostril, saying she doesn't know what's the matter with her. So the doctor takes one look at her and says, Well, it's quite obvious to me you've not been eating. Doctor, doctor, my wife thinks she's a chicken. Do you want me to do something about it? Well, not necessarily, doctor. We need the 